What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render multiple videos at once in Vegas Pro 14. Okay, so as you can see I have Vegas up, and I'm actually going to split things very short just to pretend they're full videos. And then I'm going to render it out so you can see that it actually renders multiple times at once. So I'm just going to split some uh, random parts of this video here. Of course it's not one of my proper videos, but this is a technique I use and I think it's very useful. So I'm just going to delete the rest up here and we have these clips here. So the first thing we need to do, we need to highlight it and then just right click up here and select insert region. This is number one, as you can see that's region one which means that video will be rendered first. Then we double click on this video, we right click, insert a region and that is number two. So since it is in the regions where the greens are, this video will be rendered second. So let's say you have a full video. so obviously when you have a full video you've done a lot of splitting and it's going to look something like this but loads more all the way out. What you need to do is double click and make sure everything is highlighted in that area. Then right click, insert region and then this is number three as you can see just like that. Now yes there is a gap in between each of them, that is the way I like to do it, you don't have to have this gap but I think it's easier and it separates everything. So the next thing we need to do, we need to render them all out. Now we're not doing the normal file render as. Before we render them all, make sure this is set to best and full. So what we're going to do is head over to tools, scripting and batch render. Now this is what you're going to get. You need to remember what you usually render in. For me, I know for a fact I render in WMV which is right here as you can see. Uh, this is it right here. And it's even got my preset saved which is called YouTube. So I'd select this so it has a check next to it. Then as you can see up here it says base file name, just select browse, choose a place where you want to render it, I'll just put it here and I'll just call this video and select save. And then what we're going to do is simply come to the bottom here as you can see it says render projects, render selection or render regions. Remember the green things we created were known as regions, so we're going to select this and we're going to select ok. Now as you'll see it's going to render each region out one by one. I did make them shorter so I was expecting it to be quicker. So right now I'm just going to fast forward all of this. Okay so as you can see it is coming to an end now. This is the third video that just rendered that's why it took a bit longer. But there we go it is done. Now remember we saved it to the desktop. As you can see they're right here. Now remember we simply just called it video and as you can see at the start it says video. All of them say video and the way you know in the order is rendered if I just put these here in the center. As you'll see it says zero in brackets, this one says one in brackets and this one says two in brackets. So I guess that's one downside you have to rendering in uh, multiple videos at once because you can't individually name them. However if you know what you're rendering and you know the order they're in then it shouldn't be a problem you can just simply come back to it, right click, rename it and just call it whatever you want to so maybe night vision. And it's that simple so that's renamed and that is a rendered video just like the other two as well. But that's it for this video, hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.